Wow. Well, news publishers want Amazon's Apple deal for themselves. That's what we got going. But you know what we do on here? I don't know. Should we always do this? I don't know. Do we wait for the beat? Do we wait for the beat? I'm thinking we do. Here we go. There we go. I don't know. Y'all tell me. Comment down below if that's true. If I should wait for the beat or if I should just get on with it. News publishers want the same sweetheart deal from Amazon that Amazon or from Apple that Amazon got. Now, I, what I have to say first is uh, after news publishers saw under Apple's hood, they want a taste of that sweet, sweet Amazon dealness. It appears Apple has given Amazon deals on their App Store presence that no one else seems to have gotten. And that makes these folks, especially news publishers, wanting to know how they got the same deal for themselves. Oh, get that same dealios. If we ain't getting that dealios, we ain't getting that dealios. This is from Full.com. News publishers want the same sweetheart deal from Apple that Amazon got. News publishers. I don't know why I wrote that. News publishers, Amazon, Apple. Okay, good. It was a pretty big deal when Amazon.com bought brought its Prime Video app to Apple platform back in 2017. Up to that point, the two tech behemoths had been locked in a standoff as Amazon had refused to sell the Apple TV set to, to box, set top box. Oh, that's that sounds cool. Set top box, set top box. I like it. Because Apple has strict rules surrounding its 30% cut of digital sales and subscriptions. Really strict rules like, yo, we, we're going to get our cut. We're going to get our cut. Lawmakers uh, released documents last month as part of a broad antitrust investigation. And they showed that, that Apple's a tool. I mean, I'm sorry. We're decent. That Apple gave Amazon a sweetheart deal. The Mac maker would only take a 15% Cut. Man, that's still a big chunk of change. 15% cut of any subscription sold to the Vine video app. That is a big old chunky chunk chunk. Kint notes that almost all of the association members offer iOS apps and have to pay the normal commission structure of 30% for the first year before dropping to 15% thereafter. Those companies would naturally prefer to pay reduced fees and Clint. Kent is asking what those vague conditions are. Even outside of the App Store, news publishers already have a complex relationship with Apple. The company reportedly keeps half of all Apple News Plus subscription revenue. Wow. While the remaining half split up among publishing partners based on engagement. Oh, man. Imagine that where all you got to do is provide the app and you're getting half the deals. Uh, all this hard content production you're sucking all the resources that would other go and where's it going to it's going to freaking bezos going to old jeffy so he can keep subsidizing the washington post so he can keep parroting whatever the communist chinese communist party would have that 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 dude parrot so those terms are why many that's a little bit of a hyperbole there and being a little bit, uh, but, but there is some degree of truth to that. Those terms are why many prominent publishers have chosen not to participate. The New York Times pull out of the Apple News platform altogether over the summer. Publishers certainly don't have the type of sway that Amazon does. Well, nobody has that kind of sway. That swag is sway other than Apple. But they're now trying to call Cook out. Cook, cookie Cook, Tim Cookie. Timmy Cook out for apparent discrepancies in discrepancies in Apple's policies. Uh oh, spaghetti! Oh, well. So we've got ourselves an issue here, folks, and uh, I don't think they're going to solve it with uh, a word of goodwill and cheer. I think. Uh, I think fundamentally, their problem is that they're. Well, let's just be honest. The fundamental problem here is. Apple is now vulnerable, and uh, now everybody says, "Hey, man, you know we could we could whip this up, man. We could possibly, possibly, we might be able to get Apple like hammered 
we'll, we'll keep more of our money. But who's 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 the ones that are able? Who's this gonna? It's just, it's just like watching two big pig behemoth uh, gargantuan mythological beasts uh, overhead fighting over like the the the, the last little scraps of. Uh, a human that they've uh, that they've ripped apart, and now there's only like maybe just a little part of an arm left, and and, that, and that's what it look it looks like. like we're watching these 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 uh, top heavy parastates at this point, these top heavy behemoth parastates, watching them trying to prevent one another from getting too much of their goody goods. It's like the the small content creator isn't going to benefit from well they might possibly but most likely isn't going to be benefiting from news publishers amazon apple that's the key phrase that i entered because i have reasons and this is uh i have reasons for the phrases that i pick okay that i do the google news search news search one that we go through here major news publishers ask apple what can get them an app store deal like amazon's and that's from the Verge. Mac Rumors news publishers want the same discounted 15% revenue share Apple offered Amazon Prime Video. CNBC news publishers ask Amazon for the same App Store deal. Media Post publishers are right to seek better deal from Apple. Yeah. I mean, you no, know, I just want you to know in large part, most of the news that deals with issues like these really do reflect like which corpos which particular parastates have those particular publications so you can tell a lot from the publications by the angles that they take if they happen to be in fields that maybe they see a benefit to apple winning the day or or maybe pragmatically they think you know maybe this isn't going to really sell in the end and whatever reason but but by and large i mean i think mostly the 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 media probably is, you know, they're they're the behemoth on the other side. It's like, give me, give me, give me more arm. There's a little bit of marrow left on that bone, and I want more than than seventy percent. I would like eighty-five percent cash on the barrel head. That's kind of what they're doing right now. And then we got uh, CNBC news publishers ask Apple for the same App Store deal. Oh, I read right that. Uh, where are we at here? Publishers letter spotlights Apple tax and digital news delivery. And this is, I think this is, uh, this is a little bit, a little bit interesting, I think. Uh, that story there, but I have a, I have a, an interesting, maybe an interesting story, but let's just float on this real quick here. It's, uh, no, thank you. I don't want updates from you. To paraphrase George Orwell's Animal Farm, all developers are equal, but some may be more equal than others. To that end, oh, this is payments.com. Aha, uh -huh, uh -huh. okay. To that end, as reported by Bloomberg, several publishers, including the New York Times, CNBC, and News Corp., among others, petition Apple CEO Tim Cook to offer a commission structure similar to the ones given Apple for its video streaming content. So you can see that. And then you get this little bangity bang right here. We've got uh, Microsoft News Publisher joins Spotify fight against the Apple tax. The fight against the Apple tax is heating up with news publishers and Microsoft setting up to the plate. News apps that offer subscription services are in the same boat as Spotify. They're forced to hand over 30% of monthly subscription fees to satisfy the Apple tax in the first year. Then, Apple cuts them a break and takes only 15% afterwards. News of Apple giving special treatment to Amazon has riled up services that rely on subscriptions. You know, people are just going to eventually figure that they really just can create apps that uh, can be offered on uh, their websites and people will once again go to websites. Maybe the websites will start to return. We'll start going just to central hubs all the time. But I digress. A group representing the New York Times, Wall Street Journal, the Washington Post, and other publishers seek to reduce the Apple tax. The terms of Apple's unique marketplace greatly impact the ability to continue to invest in high-quality, trusted news and entertainment, particularly in competition with other large firms. Uh, yeah, it's, that's just not even... 
half of it. I mean, there's so many ways that uh, so many of these digital platforms have, and even Google that might want to go after Apple. Even some of these very platforms, not not like the news publishers themselves, but some of these very platforms, certainly Facebook, Google, Twitter, if they get involved in this in any way, shape, or form. Uh, uh, that they've 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 taken a lot of 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 revenue that might normally have stayed in newsrooms and they put that revenue in the hands of a very very small number of San Francisco elites that have now turned that wealth into the uh the the well with great power comes great responsibility they're like responsibility fuck that shit let's do it Remember when Oliver Cromwell, like, as soon as he got power, even as he was rising in power, even before he was solidified as Lord Protector, that whole process, he couldn't really control because he rose under, I mean, he, his, his appeal to, to uh, moral certainitarianism was, was even worse than what you're seeing from the DNC, SJW kind of version of, uh, of the universe. Uh, his, 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 uh, his little uh, moral authoritarian goons went nuts, man. They just ravaged the countryside. All kinds of stuff, violence and stuff happened during that period of time. Un unrest and Catholics killing Protestants, Protestants killing Catholics. And I guess at some point Cromwell, Lord Protector, had his peace. And he was able to sustain it for about a, a 10 years or so. But not, not fully, not completely. There was all kinds of disruptions and d quiet descents and underground descents. And as soon as he was... Uh, was killed, or I mean, obviously he didn't die. I'm sorry. As soon as, as soon as he died, uh, the whole thing was killed. That's what I meant to say. As soon as he died, the whole the whole thing was killed pr pr pretty quickly. And uh, they started off by trying to get rid of the monarchy. They became the monarchy, and then when he died, they restored the monarchy, giving it to Charles II. They killed Charles I, and they restored and they brought in Charles II after after well after his son. Anyway, uh, well. That's the path that we're going down with these folks that have this particular uh, bent about them. These uh, these San Francisco, uh, Simi Valley, whatever. These folks that live in this uh, very, very, very. I'm talking about. I'm not. I'm not talking about the rank and file folks uh, grinding away. Some of them are virtual slaves. I mean, they're making like a hundred thousand a year, but that hundred thousand a year is like their 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 expenses are a hundred and twelve thousand a year. So <laughs> they're not. They're not. They're not living the good life. Many of these folks. I feel bad for many of them. Uh, I think many of them are deluded, but uh, that's uh, many of us are all deluded. So they're no. They're not alone there we're all deluded in in many ways but these particular the highest level folks these folks uh they've uh they've kind of gone down this uh they're going to use their powers for moral authoritarian and gatekeeperisms and uh how convenient that once you get the power you come up with rules to shut the door behind you what a surprise so it's fun to watch them fight amongst themselves but they've I don't know that there's any sympathetic partner. They've been sucking the life out of a local industry and turning it into a uh, new, no, nouveau riche uh, snobbers, snobbism. This is basically nouveau riche snobbism. This is like the new billionaires that don't come from a long line of families who've experienced, you know, things like, revolutions and protests and riots and stuff and like hell man i mean i'm sure some of these old families are probably looking at these newer families and like yo you guys you're fucking with shit i'm just i'm just listen 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 whatever you that's on you listen i don't want to get in your way because you know i'm i'm good up here in my fucking island but listen you're fucking with shit you should think about toning your shit down and backing your shit off Oh no, no, you're gonna double down. Okay, well, all right, well, uh alrighty, uh honey, yeah, we're gonna stock up on some more everything. Yeah. You're gonna build like fifteen more bunkers just in case. Just just build more fucking bunkers. No, no, I talked to him. I talked to him down there. Nouveau Rishi's is down there. Fucking people are crazy, man. Crazy. Fucking crazy. No, man. More bunkers. I think that's where we're at. And I think that's where we're in this, so I thank you for watching. Wow! News publishers won Amazon's Apple deal for themselves. 
That's the name of this uh, this this episode. That's the name of this series. That's the name of this podcast. It's a this is the first episode of the first series, and also the last episode of the last no the first episode of the first season, and it's also the last episode of the last season of Wow News Publishers won Amazon's Apple deal for themselves. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it off and. Right here, hold on.